Deep inside of all of us is that sleeping ukulele player screaming to get out and entertain the world. So, what are you waiting for? The journey to ukulele stardom has begun. You're gonna create sweet music for the world to hear. You're gonna write songs that will bring people to their knees and cry tears of joy. And best of all, your free entertainment for friends and family for years to come. Oh, all right, I think I already did that. What's up? Thank you for coming to the channel if you're new. Hit the subscribe button because you're awesome and I would love to keep you here. And I wanna teach you how to play ukulele, all right? If you're a new subscriber, you're amazing. You guys are like, a, it reminds me of like, going in the forest for hunting like beautiful tasty mushrooms not that i'm gonna eat you guys but you know what i mean so you're appreciated and let's do this so before we start i have to tell you a really quick funny story when you do a youtube short you are not allowed to pick your thumbnail so it auto generates one so my th my thumbnail today for a little ukulele short i did was this how awesome is this I was like, wow, if that doesn't make people want to come to the channel, I don't know what will. All right, so here we go. Now, this is going to be probably one of the most exciting videos I've done yet. Well, it's only my second ukulele video, but because you're going to learn chords. Chords are three or more notes played at the same time. And this is a C and an F. So you're actually going to start learning your first two chords and you're gonna learn the foundation of music, okay? So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw over my shoulder right here, and here it is, it's a chord chart. I'm gonna have the chord chart for C and F. Now, if that thing looks totally like foreign to you, not a problem. I made a video right before this, I'll put a link over here somewhere. You can click on that, it shows you how to read chord charts for both ukulele or guitar, because I'm doing lessons for both, okay? So if it doesn't make any sense, check that out. But if you want, you can stick here and I'll still walk you through it and I think you're gonna get it. So let's get a couple things straight. Because again, like I tell you guys and girls, that music is a language. So not only are you challenged with learning this amazing little instrument, you are also challenged with learning all the terminology and the nuts and bolts of music, which is really like music theory, just like getting in a room with musicians and talking me talk. Okay. Enough of my flapjacking, let's get started. Now, let's look at C first. Now, if you look at the chord chart over my shoulder, you're gonna see it's in a vertical format, and it's like, it's like the neck is like this. So, the string on the far left, you see the name of that string, which is G, and then we have an open C, an E, and then when we get to the A string, this one, there's the number three in a black circle, and it's on the third fret. So you have to take your third finger, and this is your fret hand, I'll always call it your fret hand, and either your picking or your strumming hand. In this case, I don't have a pick. I'm just using my fingers. Now I'm gonna teach you technique with both, but I pretty much exclusively play the ukulele just with my fingers on my strumming hand, okay? I pick the string like that. So, what I want you to do is take your third finger, one, two, three, your ring, fing your ring finger on your fret hand, and here's a little close-up in the GoPro of what that looks like. Okay, and then what you're going to do is you can either take your fingernails or your thumb and just strum straight down. And I want you to just kind of soak that into your ears and see what that sounds like. Sounds nice, right? So if you didn't have anything fretted, if you just played all the open strings, G, C, E, A, it sounded like this. But we're playing a C major chord, which is a happy chord. It's just like that middle key on a piano, that white key, and then you play C, E, G on a piano. That's what it is, okay? So same thing. So if a pianist were sitting here with you and they're playing those three notes and you're playing those, you've got, you could play it like a little tune together. So what I want you to do is when you practice, I want you to try and just take your hand off. Don't even worry about the strumming yet. What I like to have people do is just hold the guitar like this and then just see if you can get it. Put your finger on it, take it off. Put your third finger on the right spot and take it off. And refer to that chord chart if you don't know. So C, okay? So that's how you play C major. I'm gonna keep it short and sweet. What you can do is you can go back and rewind the video or watch it over. And I'm, you guys are all smart and you guys will figure this out. And I'm gonna help you, okay? It's, it's gonna take a little while. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna tell you the truth. Music is a journey, but it's so gratifying because you have to, put in the time. You can't just be like, oh, I downloaded an app. I'm a, good, <laughs> I'm a good musician now. So hopefully we're not there yet. All right, now what I want you to do is I'm gonna 
take off this C chord chart and I'm gonna put an F up there. Uh-oh, what do you notice? Well, now you have to use two fingers. So you're gonna use your first and second finger and I'm gonna show you where those go. So if you look at it, your second finger is gonna go on the G string on the second fret, like so. You see that? Okay. And keep that there. And then your first finger is going to go on the E string on the first fret. So that's what that shape looks like. Okay? Now I want you to strum straight down with your fingers or your thumb. So fingers or thumb. And that's an F. Okay, so let's do it again. So that's why you got to practice. So, you know, you take the C, it takes one finger on the third fret on the A string. And then you got to use two fingers for the F like that, okay? So you kind of want to just go back and forth. So if you are not practicing like where you're strumming, like practice doing downstrokes, like four downstrokes, and then change to F. Downstrokes, see I'm strumming down. And then if you can get that, do down up, like down up, down up, down up. Switch to F, down up, down up, down up. All right, so. Do me a promise though, like if anything's confusing you, drop a comment or a question in the comment section down below because it's my job to help you. And honestly, I want to get better and better with these, but you're not sitting in front of me. These aren't more like, these are like not the traditional style of lessons. But the best part is I get to reach as many of you as I can with this one lesson. And, and we're building this community together. I want to make it as best as possible I want to make the most efficient use of your time. And number one, I don't care what we're doing in music, it has to be fun, all right? So you're on your way by learning these chords to learning how to play songs, okay? So I want you to just practice this week going like C to F, C to F. Don't even worry about strumming, just go back and forth. And you're building up that muscle memory. And another thing, that I don't think people realize, you just gotta build a familiarity, familiarity, oh, that's a big word, with how the instrument feels in your hands, you know? Think about when you're born and you come into this world and there's all these like new things that you've gotta like, you know, just understand and comprehend and you can't really do it until you experience it. And that's the way it is with music. I can sit here till I'm blue in the face and tell you what it feels like to hold a ukulele or strum or fret notes. You're not gonna know until you actually do it. Now, if you're watching this and you don't have an instrument yet, hit me up. I will get you hooked up. I'll tell you where to go. I have an amazing guy I've worked with for years. He'll set you right. He'll give you an amazing deal. He'll, you know, let him know your price range. And um, I've already kind of told him I'm doing this channel and I'd love to send you his way and get you hooked up because my whole passion is teaching you to make music to make the world a better place. We need that more than ever. Okay, so quick recap. C major, there's the C chart again chord chart, and then to F major, there's the F chord chart. Let's do it one more time, C, and then to F, okay? And in the next video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to play a G, and that's gonna take three fingers, all right? And it sounds like this. And then what we're gonna do is a chord progression. We're gonna go C to F, and then to the chord I'm gonna teach you in the next lesson, G, back to C. That's literally a song. Now here's the here's the end goal. I'm actually writing this song called the Taco Song, and I was doing it on guitar, but I'm gonna totally switch it up. I'm gonna go back to ukulele, and I want you to help me with it. We're gonna go C F G. All right. So that's my goal for you. I want you to love this instrument. I want you to fall in love with playing and creating, and just experiencing what it's like to get good in an instrument. There is really no better feeling in the world. All right, you guys are awesome. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're new. To all my new subscribers, seriously, you guys are amazing. I'm so motivated to keep doing this because that's my biggest passion is helping you learn this. It will be a gift for life. So hopefully you'll turn into a music teacher one day and spread the seed of music everywhere. So big plans for the channel. Help me build it, you know? You're a part of the community. I need you and I'm here for you, this is why I'm doing it. All right, so see you in the next video. You got this C to F. I wanna see what your progress is like next week. We're gonna add G and then you're on your way to shredding the ukulele. Peace.